So we have two gharials on exhibit here at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. Um, they are both females and they're a little over five years old. Uh, gharials are a type of crocodile and they specialize on fish. And that's why they have that long snout. Um, they are critically endangered. There are less than a thousand left in the wild and in captivity altogether. And when we first got them in here, um, we had an issue with being able to tell if they were getting the specified amount of food that they were supposed to be getting. Um, so we started to tong feed them. After we started to tong feed them, we were still having an issue with the turtles coming out of the exhibit, taking their food. We knew we needed to take them off exhibit to feed them, get them isolated in their own pools and have their own trainer and so that we could tell how much food they were actually getting in a stress-free environment. Another reason we started this training was to be able to shift them off exhibit allows us to come into the exhibit and clean and do routine maintenance safely while they're locked inside. Another reason is it's just enriching for the gharials. Um, these feeding sessions provide a great motivator for learning and these animals have proven that they are adept at associative learning. They have picked up on visual and acoustic cues during feeding time and also during non-feeding times. And uh, lastly, it really, it's just uh, the potential. We plan on taking it much further. Uh, we can shift them off exhibit now and we target train them to feed, but we're also working on object desensitization and uh, we plan on doing scale training. And hopefully at some point we want to get them to voluntarily enter a crate. And this all makes veterinary care, general husbandry, restraint and transport much easier less stressful for everyone involved, and it just makes for uh, healthier and happier gharials.